Welcome, my name is Andrew, and I am a hardcore foodie, and tonight we're going to be making steak tacos from scratch. I grew up in an Irish-American family where everything we did was boiled and bland, and as an adult when I could cook for myself, I learned what flavor was. Initially, the flavor in the food happened through richness, through butters and oils, and, you know, fats and cheese and lots of meat. I was eating completely outside of proper portioning. And it led to my 30s having super high cholesterol and eating in ways, like cooking in ways that would give me a lot of indigestion that wasn't making my body feel good. And through a long process of relearning to cook, I learned how to make flavors in ways that were portion appropriate and were healthy. There's enough heat in tacos and in the heat that was in the beans to like warm up your soul to deal with the misery of having to go out and shovel. Taco dinner, what we're gonna have is homemade tortillas. We're gonna have a marinated steak that we cook, then we cut up and that makes the meat for the taco. We're gonna have some beans and we are gonna have some rice. We marinate the steak in this chili sauce. It's homemade and it's pretty easy to do. You get dried chipotle peppers from the grocery store and you boil them with some apple cider vinegar. It takes about like 15 minutes and you toss in a couple cloves of garlic and a little bit of salt and then you blend it up either with a blender or a magic bullet or an immersion blender and it makes this beautiful chili paste. When marinating the steak, just put the steak in the bowl and you get a good healthy scoop, it doesn't need to be scientific, of the chili paste, enough that it will coat the whole of the steak. I also use Montreal steak seasoning because this has a mixture of salt, pepper, um, some garlic, some onion, and it rounds out the flavors. Just a couple shakes, and using your hands, you want to get the steak nice and covered. Toasting seasonings brings out their natural oils and the flavors become more pronounced and it's a mixture of the cumin seed, the paprika, and the pepper. Shake it to try to get it even and you turn on the heat and you have it at about a medium flame. And you do this a little bit by smell when you can smell that some toasting has happened, you know that it's good enough. Into the onions. Ooh. We'll now add the can of the refried black beans. And we're also going to give it a little bit of water once we've stirred things in. Half a cup. It's just so that way it doesn't overcook and dry out and burn. You want it to just be a nice simmer. Homemade tortillas have this softness and this texture that is lost when you get it from the shelf. And when you're making it yourself, you are making it for pennies on the dollar, and it's super fast and easy. Promise? Promise. To make tortillas, you need masa. Masa is different than traditional like corn flour. See 
hear how the dough is crumbly, but it's not fully coming together. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add a little bit more water. And at this point, we're going to start stirring with our hands. And you can see here how the bulk of the dough is coming together, but you still have some of these crumbs. Outliers. So we're just going to add a little bit more water and keep with the stirring. So this is what the dough looks like once it's all come together. And you take it and it's this, you just roll it around your hands until it's a little bit ball-like. And we're just gonna put them back in the bowl. As you can see, the ball here went from being ball shaped to flat. You can see right here that there's been some browning on this side of the tortilla. That's a little bit of caramelization of the sugar, and that amount is totally great. You don't want it to be any more brown than that. We're now going to cook this steak. Yeah. It's had enough time marinating, so the flavors have really imparted to the outside of the steak. And when you're cooking a steak at home, especially in the wintertime, you can't go outside and grill when there's two and a half, three feet of snow on the ground. You can make a totally decent steak using a cast iron skillet on your stovetop. The cast iron skillet is required for all home cooks. This lets you fry, this lets you saute, you can bake with this, this just goes right in the oven, and this is cheap. It's a thicker metal. It will cook far more evenly when you're doing meats. This is a canola oil cooking spray. You could use Pam, you could use the canola oil, corn oil, vegetable oil. I wouldn't recommend using olive oil because olive oil has a very low smoke point and you want this pipe in hot. You're going to put the steak on, give it two minutes for the side, flip it two minutes for the side, and then you take it off. Do just 30 seconds on the two long sides. So that way they have a chance to get some of that tasty caramelization as well. We take the steak off and it's going to sit so that way the juices don't drain. We don't want to cut it for at least a few minutes right after it comes off the grill. We're going to put on a couple pieces of the steak, a little bit of cheese, give it a squeeze of lime, and I'm going to put on a little bit of salsa verde. And then you have to eat it. Bon appetit! Mexican food, you need to have sangria, and there's a really easy way to make that. You get your quart sized mason jar, and it has useful markers along the side. You do 100 milliliters of your Cointreau or your Grand Marnier. You do 100 milliliters of your brandy, and it doesn't have to be expensive brandy. Then you're going to top it off with your red wine. And this is a perfect place for the boxed wine because it doesn't have to be good, it just has to be in volume. And you're just going to fill up your jar. And by shaking it up, it mixes the sangria, but it also is going to chill it because the ice cubes in there agitate and everything.
chop, chop, chopping with, stopping, talking with, places hopping with, marrow, knives dropping with, popcorns popping with. And if your soul is not being fed by what you're doing, you're doing it wrong.